Adams, who's live with what we've learned overnight. That's right, Larissa. Just last night, deputies tell me they shot an armed man on Beardsley Avenue, and the whole thing started when he was riding on a motorcycle and refused to pull over. The incident ended at Beardsley Market, where that man was shot and later died at the hospital. Quiet most of the time, you know? I mean, there's a few things happens around here, but not much, you know what I mean? But it was not quiet last night in Oildale. Deputies say a suspect on a motorcycle failed to yield for code violations and a pursuit followed in the Willow Park area. They also say he wrecked the motorcycle on Beardsley where he attempted to flee on foot then opened fire on deputies. During the shooting incident, uh, no deputies were injured. However, we did recover a firearm at the scene that the suspect was in possession of. Deputies returned fire, killing the suspect. A canine that had been deployed was also struck by at least one bullet. The canine was taken to a, a local vet hospital and uh, is expected to survive. Uh, they're planning on doing surgery. Residents living along Beardsley had to be escorted to and from their homes by deputies, including one man who said he's not surprised by the outcome of last night's pursuit. I was riding my three wheeler out here the other day and got stopped. I'm glad they didn't shoot me. Now, deputies are still on the scene investigating right now, and they say that Beardsley between Chester and Plymouth will remain closed for most of the morning. They also say the identity of that suspect has not yet been released. In Oildale, Lindsay Adams, 23 ABC.